In the last session, we figured out how to join data sets across different time periods, having the same kinds of columns into one master table using the concatenate node. Now let us look at a real life situation. Let's assume that we had created this node to join uh, into a master table till 2018. Now come 2019, a new set of data is produced. How do we include that data in our solution? So we'll figure out how to do that. Now let's go back to the folder where you have the sales new files. So we go inside this folder, we'll find the file with 2019 data. Now let's drag and drop this data into our workspace. Now we have the 2019 data. Let's read in the data. So first let's configure. The first thing we need to do when we use a reader node is to browse. But since we dragged and dropped this node, the path is already taken care of. So the second thing we need to do is go to adjust settings and select the sheet to read. Here there's only one sheet or one tab. So we select sheet one. Let's go down and have a look at the preview. So we see that row zero, which is basically row one, incidentally row one, contains the names of the column headers. So that needs to be corrected. So what we do is we go to this next section called column names. Click on this. It says table contains column names in row number. Here one is the default number, which is correct in our case. So we choose that. We go back to the preview of the table. It's asking us to refresh. It says preview table is out of sync with current settings. Please refresh. So we click on refresh. And now we find that the headers have gone to the column headers now. And this table looks correct and we click on OK. After we've configured the file and see that the traffic light down below has changed to yellow, which means the node is now ready to be executed. We right click, open this form and click on the second item on this menu or form, which is called execute. Once executed, it's always important to go and have a look at the output data. The second tab here gives you a spec of the columns, including the format of the columns. Right. So again, this data also has the same kinds of variables that the other data sets have. Next, let's look at including this new node, which we document as 2019 data. This needs to be included now in this existing workflow. What we do is we connect 2019 to the fourth remaining input port of the concatenate node. Now you'll notice that this, as soon as I connected this node to the concatenate node, the 2019 data node, the traffic light here changed to yellow, which means this particular node needs to be rerun again. So I click on execute and go and check at the concatenated data. So 2019 data also has been added here. Now the number of rows is changed to 81,646 from 60,000 uh, something in the earlier iteration. So now we've managed to build out and create a master data set across all these four years. Now we've got to join this with the customer type and the discount type data. Let's go and have a look at this join table to see on what could possibly be my primary key on the basis of which I could do a join. So I, my guess after looking at this is possibly customer name is going to be the primary key on the basis I could join these two tables. Now here, 
customer is this table uh, this column here and customer name is the column here they look similar so we need to do is join these two tables so i just type join again bring in the joiner node connect the top table here the bottom table here go and right click on joiner go to configure add row we're going to join on the basis of customer name on the left of the top table and customer on the right table we need to do a right outer join the reason for this is this is a bigger table containing 81,646 rows. This is a smaller table containing only 633 rows. So for every row or customer here in this table, we need information from here, which is why this being the bottom input of the right table, we chose the right outer join. Let's execute this and see if we've got the right table or not. We go to the join table. Yes, 81646 rows are there, which is the same as the bottom input table. And we've got all information regarding the discounts and in each of the countries from this table, which has been now joined with this table. So the resultant table has got eight plus nine, 17 minus one column, because the common joining column has been dropped. So we've got 16 columns now of the resultant data set. Now we have our master data set in place and we are ready to do our analysis.